What's up everyone? We're about to dive into a topic that's both fascinating and complex, religious conversion. Specifically, we're going to look at 10 countries where a growing number of Muslims are converting to Christianity. Now, when we talk about conversion, it's not just about switching religious labels. We're talking about profound personal transformations, shifts in belief systems that shape individuals' lives and impact the world around them. In this thought-provoking video, we explore the fascinating phenomenon of religious conversion, focusing on the 10 countries where thousands of Muslims are embracing Christianity. Find out what's driving this religious transformation, the challenges converts face, and why these changes are significant. We're going to look at the historical, social, and personal factors at play, and we'll hear stories of individuals who've made this significant life change. Stay tuned to learn the surprising reasons behind the shift and uncover the countries where this phenomenon is happening every day. Watch until the end, because the last two countries on this list will truly blow your mind. Don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content on faith, spirituality and cultural change. Our journey starts with number 10 is Malaysia, a nation where ancient traditions meet modern influences. Here, the conversion of Muslims to Christianity is often intertwined with a complex web of social and cultural factors. Think about it. Religion is deeply embedded in culture and Sometimes the lines can get a little blurry. Uh, in Malaysia we see how things like intermarriage, exposure to Christian communities and access to education can play a role in these conversions. But it's not just about external factors. Many converts cite a genuine search for spiritual fulfillment, a longing for a deeper connection with a higher power. They find solace in the teachings of Christianity resonating with its messages of love, forgiveness and redemption. And as we'll see throughout this series, the human heart's search for meaning often transcends geographical boundaries. Now it's important to acknowledge that conversion experiences are as diverse as the individuals themselves. Some find a gradual awakening, a slow dawning of faith, while others describe dramatic moments of revelation. There's no one-size-fits-all narrative here and that's what makes this topic so compelling. As we delve deeper into the stories from Malaysia, we'll encounter individuals who face challenges and triumphs, individuals who embody the human capacity for change and the enduring power of faith. Our exploration takes us now to number 9 is Algeria, where we shift our focus from broader societal influences to the deeply personal journeys of conversion. Here, we hear directly from those who have navigated this path, men and women who have embraced Christianity, sharing their stories of doubt, discovery, and ultimately faith. Their testimonies offer a raw and unfiltered glimpse into the emotional and spiritual landscape of conversion. We'll also hear from experts, sociologists, religious scholars, and community leaders who provide valuable context to these individual experiences. They'll help us understand the nuances of religious conversion in Algeria, shedding light on the cultural and historical factors that might be driving this trend. One key aspect we'll uncover is the role of personal connection. Often, it's through interactions with Christians, friends, neighbors, colleagues, that individuals begin to question their own beliefs and explore alternative perspectives. These encounters, often characterized by empathy and understanding, can be pivotal in someone's journey of faith. As we listen to these stories, it's essential to remember that conversion is a deeply personal choice. It's not about numbers or statistics, but about individual hearts and minds seeking truth and meaning. Number 8. Morocco. The decision to convert to Christianity often comes at a price. We're talking about a place where religious freedom isn't a given, where social pressure and even legal ramifications can follow such a choice. This is where the strength of conviction is truly tested. Imagine the courage it takes to embrace a faith knowing that it could mean alienation from your family, rejection from your community, or even threats to your safety. These are the realities faced by many converts in Morocco. But 
amidst these challenges, we also witness extraordinary resilience and an unwavering commitment to their newfound faith. We'll hear stories of individuals who've had to make heartbreaking choices, like leaving their homes or living in secrecy to protect themselves and their loved ones. Yet, their faith remains a source of strength and comfort, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. This chapter isn't just about the struggles, it's about the unwavering spirit of those who choose faith over fear, who find solace and purpose in their beliefs even when the world around them seems to crumble. It's a testament to the human capacity for hope and the enduring power of faith in the darkest of times. Number 7. Saudi Arabia A Quest for Spiritual Truth Our exploration continues in Saudi Arabia, a nation grappling with social change and spiritual searching. Here, the motivations behind conversions to Christianity are as diverse as the landscape itself. Some find themselves drawn to the message of love and forgiveness central to the Christian faith, a stark contrast to the often rigid and unforgiving doctrines they've known. For others, it's the emphasis on personal salvation and a direct relationship with God that resonates deeply. They yearn for a faith that speaks to their individual needs and aspirations, offering solace and guidance in a rapidly changing world. We'll explore the role of Christian missionaries in Saudi Arabia, their efforts to spread the gospel and provide social services often intertwined with their religious message. We'll examine the impact of Christian media, from radio broadcasts to online platforms, in reaching new audiences and sparking curiosity about this faith. It's crucial to approach this topic with sensitivity and respect for all belief systems. Conversion is a complex and deeply personal journey, and our aim is to shed light on the factors driving this trend while acknowledging the diversity of experiences within it. Number 6. Egypt Shifting Sands of Global Religion As we reach the halfway point in our exploration, we turn our attention to Egypt, a nation at the crossroads of tradition and modernity. Here, the rise in conversions to Christianity is unfolding against a backdrop of broader shifts in global religious dynamics. We're talking about a world where access to information is unprecedented, where traditional religious boundaries are being blurred and individuals are increasingly questioning established norms. In Egypt, we see this interplay between global trends and local realities. The rise of social media, for instance, has played a significant role in connecting people across geographical and religious divides. It's provided a platform for sharing personal stories of faith, fostering dialogue and challenging preconceived notions. Simultaneously, we're witnessing a resurgence of religious fervor in many parts of the world, including within Islam. This renewed emphasis on faith creates a fascinating tension as individuals grapple with questions of identity, belonging and spiritual fulfillment. The story of Egypt reminds us that religious conversion is not happening in a vacuum. It's influenced by global forces, shaped by technological advancements and intertwined with the ever-evolving human search for meaning and connection. Number 5. Syria. Journeys of Faith and Transformation Welcome to Syria, a land where ancient history meets the vibrancy of modern life. Here, we'll delve into the personal narratives of individuals who've embarked on a profound journey of faith, transitioning from Islam to Christianity. Each story is a testament to the human capacity for change, the courage to question long-held beliefs, and the enduring search for truth and meaning. Imagine for a moment the weight of such a decision, a choice that often comes with both joy and uncertainty. We'll hear from those who've grappled with societal expectations, familial ties, and the very core of their identity as they navigated this transformation. Their stories will unveil the moments of doubt and the leaps of faith, the challenges they faced, and the unwavering support they found along the way. We'll witness the beauty of human connection as strangers become pillars of strength, offering compassion and understanding in the face of adversity. These are not just stories of religious conversion, they are stories of resilience, of the enduring human spirit, and the transformative power of faith to shape lives and redefine destinies. 
Our journey takes us now to number 4 Pakistan, where we'll examine the intricate social and cultural factors influencing the rising trend of Muslims converting to Christianity. Imagine a society where religion is deeply interwoven with daily life, shaping customs, traditions and social interactions. In such an environment, the decision to embrace a new faith is not merely a personal choice but a profound statement that reverberates through the social fabric. We'll delve into the complexities of interfaith relationships, exploring the dynamics between families and communities grappling with this shift in religious identity. Furthermore, we'll examine the role of education and economic opportunity in influencing these conversions. In some cases, access to education or improved economic prospects through association with Christian communities can play a role in individuals' decisions. It's crucial to approach this topic with sensitivity, recognizing that generalizations can be misleading. Each conversion story is unique, shaped by personal experiences, social networks, and individual interpretations of faith. Number three is Afghanistan, a spiritual awakening. In the heart of Afghanistan, a different kind of conversion story is unfolding. Here, the focus shifts from external factors to the deeply personal realm of spiritual seeking. We're talking about individuals who describe profound encounters with the divine, moments of spiritual awakening that led them to embrace Christianity. Imagine the power of a dream, a vision, or a sudden sense of overwhelming peace that alters the course of one's life. These are the experiences shared by many converts in Afghanistan who speak of finding solace, hope and a deep sense of purpose in the teachings of Christianity. We'll explore the role of prayer, meditation and spiritual exploration in these conversions, highlighting the human longing for connection with something greater than oneself. Through interviews and personal testimonies, we'll witness the authenticity of their faith and the transformative power of spiritual experience. This chapter reminds us that religious conversion is not always a linear journey. It can be sparked by moments of profound grace, unexpected encounters, and a yearning for spiritual fulfillment that transcends cultural boundaries. Number 2. Indonesia Navigating the challenges of conversion Our exploration continues in Indonesia, where converts to Christianity often face unique challenges. Here, we'll delve into the complexities of navigating a new religious identity within a society deeply rooted in tradition. Imagine the courage it takes to embrace a faith knowing that it might mean facing social stigma, familial pressure, or even threats to one's safety. We'll hear from individuals who've encountered such adversity, sharing their stories of resilience, perseverance, and the unwavering support they've found within Christian communities. Their experiences underscore the importance of empathy, understanding and acceptance in fostering a welcoming environment for converts. Furthermore, we'll examine the role of religious leaders and organizations in providing guidance, support and a sense of belonging to those navigating this transition. From pastoral care to community outreach programs, these efforts play a vital role in helping converts integrate into their new faith. This chapter serves as a reminder that religious freedom is a fundamental human right and that creating a society where individuals are free to practice their faith without fear or discrimination is essential. And number one on our list is Iran, a surprising turn. Our final destination brings us to Iran, a nation often perceived through a particular lens. Here, the trend of Muslims converting to Christianity might seem unexpected challenging preconceived notions and sparking intrigue. We'll delve into the historical, social and cultural nuances that make this phenomenon particularly noteworthy. Imagine a society where religious boundaries have historically been rigid, where the domin dominant faith has held sway for centuries. It's within this context that the emergence of a growing Christian community, comprised in part by converts from Islam, takes on added significance. We'll explore the factors contributing to this shift, from the influence of Christian media and outreach programs to the appeal of Christianity's message of love, forgiveness and social justice. 
Through interviews with converts, religious leaders and experts will gain a deeper understanding of this evolving religious landscape. This concluding chapter serves as a powerful reminder that the human search for meaning and spiritual fulfillment knows no bounds. It encourages us to approach complex topics like religious conversion with curiosity, empathy and a willingness to challenge our own assumptions. A global conversation, faith in the 21st century. As we conclude our exploration of these ten nations, one thing is clear. The conversation about religious conversion, particularly within the Muslim community, is complex and multifaceted. It's a conversation shaped by personal experiences, social dynamics, cultural influences, and ultimately the human heart's enduring search for meaning and belonging. Join us as we navigate through these diverse landscapes and discuss the implications of these conversions within the broader context of global religious dynamics in 2024. The stories we've heard remind us that behind every statistic, every headline, there are real people grappling with profound questions of faith, identity and purpose. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content on faith, spirituality and cultural change. And most importantly, keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts, questions and reflections in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning and keep the dialogue open.